Howdy folks, my name is Ian Moore. I'm the music minister here, and we're on another week of this Bible reading plan, 1 John. We're going to read 15 through uh, 27, chapter 2, 15 through 27. And I just want to encourage you, get in the Word, spend time with Jesus. Uh, this is a great time. We're promised to meet God, and uh, just thankful that He continues to work on us. And getting in his word just helps us be better people and know more about him. And it's a promise for us to start hearing from him. So uh, let me read. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desire of the flesh and desires of the eyes and pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires. But whoever does the will of, the, of God abides forever. Children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out, that it might become plain that they are not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son and in the Father. This is the promise that he made to us, eternal life. I write these things to you about those who are trying to deceive you, but the anointing that you receive from him abides in you. You have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. I just want to pray real quick. Lord, may your words be heard. May we follow you knowing the truth. In your name we pray. Amen. Man, what a big reflection. Yet again. Yet again. Don't chase after the world. And also there are people who potentially seem like good things, they're not good things. Um, what comes to mind, it's gonna be hard. There's not universalistic ideas. Jesus is the way he died for all. Not all things are Jesus. Buddha's not Jesus. Um, Jehovah's Witnesses are not following the Jesus. Mormon is not following the Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Father as three persons, one God, it's not, it's not this Jesus. It even says here, if, you, if whoever confesses the Son has the Father also, it's, it's saying that there's this, uh, if you deny one of them, you're denying all of them. It just seems like, yeah, there should be good things and that, you know, there might be good things coming from these people. But it's important for us to know that we shouldn't be swayed. As we get in the word, we can truly start to differentiate where these divisions are. Um, man, such a hard word today. But just a reminder to not be chasing after the world. Don't be chasing after what feels right. But to be encouraged that with a relationship with Jesus Christ, we know the Father, we have the Spirit dwelling inside us. May we just lean into that. Rough, rough message, but may we be encouraged that this is good things that God brings us. So let's pray. Lord, uh, may we know you. May we know Father, Son, Holy Spirit. May we trust you. Lord, we're praying for those who are chasing after either the world or false Christs, anti-Christs. May they see you. May they be called home. 
engaging in relationship with you, Lord. We trust you in your name we pray. Amen. Curious what your thoughts are to got today, guys. Uh, let me hear it. I'll talk to you guys next week.